Welcome to my channel Swift Learn. This tutorial I will show how to host WCF service in IIS and finally call the service in your ASP.NET web application. See the video continue. Start Visual Studio. File New Project. I am adding a WCF project WCF service application I want to create a WCF service and host an IIS final I will add it in aspirate and web application okay uh, my WCF service name is WCF service 1 and it saved it in uh, WCF tutorial folder existing desktop as I am just removing the interface default interface and I'm gonna add uh, in the new interface, the new method. Start start a square bracket. Operation contact. Okay. Now I'm gonna add a method double type double add. In this method, I will do the uh, I will do this operation that sum of two value. Number one and number two. All are double type, double number one, double number two. Okay, my method is done. Now, service under SBC, I remove this default method and explicit that method uh, what I added in I service and then as an interface. Ex uh, explicit implemented in interface I service one. Yes, it's, uh, it's now get it. Uh, throw new. Just remove it and uh, return what I will return the sum of number one and number two. In that case, return number one plus number two. It will display the result uh, uh, with summary of both value in, in my project. Basically, I will show how to call the WCF service from IAS and how to host this WCF service in IAS fastly. Okay, now just debug with uh, press, uh, pressing F5 or click on debug. It's debugging. My method is add method is edit. You can check this method from here. Uh, put the number 1, 15 and number 2 is uh, 5. Okay, just click on invoke. Okay. Yes, it will display the result 20. 15 plus 5 equal to 20. Okay. Service is ready. Now I'm going to host the service in IIS. To host this service in IIS, go to the uh, go to your saved uh, go to your folder where the uh, application is saved in the WCF tutorial, WCF service one. Okay, copy the WCF service folder except SLN. Don't copy the SLN folder. Only WCF service one. Just copy. Now, uh, so go to C drive. In it for www dot paste it in C in it for www. If you don't have those folder, install IIS to install IIS. See the tutorial from the link given in the description box below. Okay, in pub www dot yes paste it here. Noted that you should have the uh, permission of read write. How to install IIS on Windows Seven is the best step in this tutorial. You can see here. Okay. Now it's paste. Minimize everything. Okay. Now right click on my computer. Click on manage. Yes. Now expand the service and application. Click on internet information service IAS manager. Expand it and uh, expand the sites. Expand default website. See that this is the service I added. Now convert it to an application. To convert it application right click and just click on convert to application so that WCF service one default available and this is the physical path where I passed it and uh, just click on OK now it's converted as an application now click on content view see that these are the content just click on service one dot SBC and uh, click on browse to get the link of service this is the link where the hosted and uh, uh, keep running the server at using application if your server is 
shut off then it will not get the access if you don't host it on iOS, you should keep running the service in browser because you generate different link in each browsing with a random number if hosted on iOS, no need to run the service in browser just keep running the iOS server only start visual studio get a web application to call the wsf service hosted in iOS. click on web as we don't web application uh, I, will, I will add this application in the same folder desktop wcf tutorial my application name is web application name web application for wcf click on ok yes my application is created and check that uh, wcf tutorial folder the application for wcf is added i'm just removing the html code from the aspidot uh, page default aspx now I am gonna add three tax box control. The tax box one and tax box two for uh, being value uh, number one and number two, and finally I will display the result summary information in tax box three. Okay, now I am gonna add a button control to execute the operation. Okay, my design is a bit ready. Go to the design yes this is the text box one uh, for number one and i'm just showing how to call the wsf service in your aspirated application from the iis in that case i am just uh, creating a wcf service and a web application as well okay now number one number two and result this is okay now click event uh, first of all, add the WCF service service reference from IIS. Add service reference. Okay, this is the service link hosted in IIS. Keep running this IIS server using the application. Just copy this link. Yes, this is the link. It's hosted in IIS. Copy this link and uh, right click. Add service reference paste the address copy the address and click on go yes searching please wait service information okay the service is added see that the add method service reference one click on okay yes the service is added from the is now service one dot service one client Client equal to new service. I just call this uh, service in my asp.net web page. Now I will display the result in tag box 3 dot text. So, so tag box 3 dot text equal to uh, client dot add. Add is the method client is my service. Client dot add number one and number two. My number one is text, bo uh, text box one for number one and text box two for number two and double dot for because my number is double type I declared in the WCF service. Okay, double dot first text box two dot text. The summary information text box one and text box two summary information will display in the text box three dot text box three result text box. Okay. Now convert convert double to string. Oh, sorry. Uh, when you display any text the, as text box, it will be it will must be in string. But uh, this is the double type. That's why it's need to convert to string. Just a dot to string. Okay, done. Now it's done. Just right click in the SPX file. Paste view in browser. Yes. Now put uh, number one, 150, number two, 500, total 650, 650. If I change with 50, it will display 20, the sum of information. This is the WCF, uh, WCF service. Just right click and view in browser, uh, browse with 
okay browse see that it displays the link with the random number localhost 5212 it is frequently changed but when you host it in the is without random number it's the localhost wcf service one wcf service one dot sbc